this quite often though. And this is going to be my full 100% playthrough of hey, Super Mario, Mario 64. Kind of careful? Um, I know this game is going to death, Princess but I figured this is, would be great for your first playthrough of a game. I know this game somewhat well. I, I'm no complete expert on it or anything, but I have speed in it a couple times. So, I'm sure you all know the drill by now. We just jump out of piping and get started. The way I'm going to do this playthrough is I'll do uh, one level every episode, and I'll cover as many stars as possible on the first run through. So, for example, the mob on Battlefield here that we'll be doing today, I'll do all but the Mario Link to the Sky uh, star, and I'll instead be covering that in the second part after we've unlocked the wing cap. So, um, everyone knows the beginning of this game, or probably most of this game. Uh, there's very few of you out there that have probably never played this game. Um, and then I decided to go with the original over the DS version of this because I just like how the original version controls more. It would be great. Uh, or maybe someone has modded the original to actually. Not the original, the DS version. To have control similar to this where you don't have to hold the run button and you don't only move in any direction. But that's beside the point. This is Ball on Battlefield. It's one of the most iconic levels from any game. And uh, if you haven't already noticed, I am using an HD texture pack for this, just to make things look a little nicer. But, uh, not much to really say about this first level. You just go up the mountain, you go through here, and go talk to King bob -omb. I have a lot of trouble there. So there we go. First level, uh, probably won't take me much more than 20 or so minutes, probably. It's pretty short, as are most of the levels in this game. I, uh, I hadn't played through Mario 64 since so probably like 2009, until uh, the 3D All Stars version came out, and I did a full 100% run on that, and that was pretty short sure this game was. Uh, that's good. See how long this takes all together when I actually finish this entire game. So that's the first star. You just pick up the bomb three times, come his back, put him on the ground, and that's about it. And there's the first of 120 stars. Alright. So the second star is largely the same. I'm gonna scale up the mountain again, so you know, you gotta race Cooper quick. But first, highly recommend get the cannons open. You can't use them on this level, or you will be using cheating by Cooper quick and fail the star. But it'll be nice to have those open for the third star. So we'll talk to Cooper quick real quick and begin the race. The, uh, I think most people know, but the first level only has two of those boulders rolling there, and then after you defeat King Babon, the third one shows up. Because that is King Babon. But that's the race with Cooper the Quick, and now we just sit here running in circles for the next 20 seconds. I think Cooper the Quick takes around one minute to get up here. Uh, maybe it's just like a minute and ten. I honestly don't remember the exact time. But you should have plenty of time, even if you don't take the teleporter and you aren't jumping and diving. If you just run up here, you should make it with some kind of spare. And there he is. Hey there, buddy. Hug, hug the pole a little bit. There we go, two 
just ours. Here we go. Pretty good start of things. So this third star will probably be the... Actually, no, they're not going to be the fastest star of this level. Um, the second fastest. Because all we're going to do this is shoot up to the island in the sky as... Very simple star. Uh, that's why we opened the cannons on the last episode. We'll just come over here, jump in, jump on this cannon, and aligning the cannons in this game is super annoying. It's like trying to aim the bow and stuff and offering the time in the door's mask. The sensitivity on Nintendo 64 is just awful. There we go. Star number two. Up, we have the eight red coins of Bob on Battlefield. Every single course in the game will have an eight coin mission, and it is also recommended that you do the 100 coin star in the eight coin missions for most levels. So there's probably going to be one or two exceptions to this. Um, I'll find out as I'm practicing them. So these 100 coin missions are probably the worst part of the game to me. I just don't really like having to do these. And uh, I still have that sense when I'm playing Mario Sunshine. Anyways, at the start there, break the bricks and kill the Goombas and get the coins under the bridge. A couple free coins. You're going to need to defeat just about every enemy in this entire area to get 100 coins on this run. This would be much easier to do after obtaining the wing cap, and you could get the five rings worth of coins up in the sky, but it isn't. Thank you. It is entirely possible to do so without them. Except for a couple of them. What I'm going to do actually is come over here. We'll keep this for bomb. This very special for bomb. Uh, say hello to this chain shop. Here you have the one blue coin in the entire level of Mario 64. The camera in this game is just an absolute joy. Uh, so yeah, there's your blue coin. And it's right over here. We can first get This part lasts. However, uh, it makes getting the star just a little more annoying if you do this last because you'll get the final coins off of this ring right here, which you can get about five coins from if you just do a backflip. Should be two or three Goombas over here as well. This is going to be a very large portion of your coins right here. Probably about a fourth of the coins that you need for the star in this area. Because if you didn't know, you can run around these posts right here. And then will spew out five coins. This is very, very helpful towards getting 100 coins and the biggest reason this is actually cool.
Modern coin mission is really not the most exciting thing. You just kind of run around the level, killing stuff, picking up coins. Um, but I've got to admit, uh, they're better in this game than Mario Sunshine because you can always do them in those missions in this game. And Mario Sunshine, however, you have to do them in like, specific ones half the time because they're just hard enough to do quite a few missions. In game. However, I actually enjoy Mario Sunshine more than this game personally. I just really love the movement, and the chocolate bean, I really enjoy personally. So, another brick right here that'll speed out three points, and you also have a free ring of eight right here, and a one-up. There's the bomb. Down here we have red coin number seven, and another ball on. Okay, this eight right here. And the last couple coins will be pretty easy to get. I'll actually run up here and get coin. There we go. And that is all eight red coins. We'll be going and picking up the star here. The last couple coins will be up on the mountain. There is a Goomba right over here. Oh, er, er, sorry, Bob on. This one is a Goomba. Oh well. Okay, that Bob on. There are no coins in this brick. Unfortunately. Don't take the teleporter this time. We're gonna go over here. Three, six coins right here, and there's your last coins. And that is the first of all 1500 coin stars, you save your game after picking one up, and it does not kick you out of level, which is uh, the biggest reason you should do these in, with the 8 returns, because you're going to be picking up a lot of coins anyways. Unfortunately, uh, Mario Sunshine does boot you out of level. Shine and it's uh, it's pretty annoying. But we have one more star that we'll be getting today, and then that'll be it because of uh, the stupid wing cap, which unlocks. I want to say you need to get ten or eleven stars in order to get the wing cap. So we'll be ignoring Mario Link to the sky and getting that star right there, just kind of sitting there, right behind the chain chomp. This was the first star I ever got in Mario 64, and I feel like it was for quite a few people. Just about everyone I personally know that's played this game, they all said that it was the first star that they got as well. So we're going to do this. Do that three times, and chain chomp will go away. We'll break open the gate, and we get our star. Alright, and that'll do it for this first episode. Next time on Super Mario 64, we will do Wamp's Fortress and come back and get Mario Wings to the Sky. I'll see you guys then.